Good morning, boys and girls. It's Saturday, the 21st of March, 2015. And look, a guest is with me tonight, boys and girls, uh, this afternoon. A get because you couldn't make the nighttime show, could you? No, tell you? no. A no, guest is with us, a very, very important person. Oh, absolutely. Very, very important person. Clipboard. I was going to say, I have clipboard and clipboard. And You need glasses to look important, oh, right. dear. Glasses, yeah. Just on the edge of your nose. I haven't got a clipboard. We'll put, oh, I know what you've got. Where is it? What have you done with it? What? Your apple. I've put it away. Oh, <laughs> no. You need that to look important. Oh, that's terrible. Sorry. <laughs> Have you got one of those in your studio? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is James Dean. Uh, and what do you do, James? Um, my official job title yeah. is uh, Digital and Radio Operational Business Manager. Of? Uh, Tameside Radio. Well, it's Quest Media Network. So, very, very important person. And he has worked from nothing. Uh, to get to this way, so we're going to be having a little bit of chat yeah. about that later. Mm -hmm. And if you maybe want to be on the radio or something to do with the radio or, you know, generally that sort of thing, then you can call in later on if you want to, boys and girls. Now, I still haven't worked out on the new software how to put a little logo. And you've got to dash off at one o'clock, so you're not going to be able no. to help me either. But there is some sort of way where you can put a little logo at the bottom of it. Yes. With the phone a number. A lower third. A what? A lower third, that's the technical Is name. that what it's yeah, called? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and then you can also have dogs on there as well, which is a dish. There's one sitting next to me now, dear. <laughs> I, was, I, I knew that was going to happen. Which you, is, well, uh, you walked into yeah, that. I did, yeah. You walked into that. A, a dog's a digital on-screen graphic. <laughs> it's like, you know, oh, like the Channel yeah. 5. Like yeah, that, like the little, little yeah. things. The only one that doesn't have them is BBC. Yeah. Even ITV has it now, I believe. I th yeah, they do, yeah. Or do they? I've, I've seen yeah, that on ITV, yeah. They do. They don't really bother them. I think when they first came on, that DODs are the little logos of the TV station in the top left hand. They're yeah. always in the top left hand corner. Um, I think it's top left. Yeah, yeah and think, and yeah. the little kiddies ones the, the, on the children's channels, they do things, don't yeah. they? They like and move around. Animated, and, yeah. Yeah, they're animated. So that's what a DOG is. We haven't got one of those on here. We're no. still saving up for one of those. Boys and girls. <laughs> Got to say hello to a couple of people before we start who are already on this morning. Good morning to Matthew, who's in Croydon. Hello, Matthew, who says, got the show on, dear. But what is all this, dear? Dear? I've got the show on, dear. Can I please have a hello on the show, dear, as one of your longest serving listeners? Remember you used to give me the show on a CD <laughs> when you was in Deep Jane in Heaven, and I always listened to it the next day. He's just getting ready for work. What are you doing today, Matthew? Are you working for... Oh, I know where he works. Um... What's the clothes place? Cheap clothes place? Primark. Primark. I think he works for Primark. Mm. Can't remember. Tell us where you work, Ma uh, Matthew. And if, of course, more importantly, you can get us a discount. We what What would be left with a discount from Primarni? They'd end up... They, you, but you, you, they you end go up giving and, you money for you'd it. You'd get a pair of yeah. jeans and then they give you a fiver as well. Yeah. Mind you, you... You're into freebies, aren't you, dear? I don't know what you mean. Oh, God. Because he is a very important person. Put the glasses mm. back on quickly. He's a very important person. And hold hold notepad, like, look important. Like and, and pen um. in mouth. In, that's it. That's it. And look as if you're about to tell someone off. Do you do that a lot at your radio station? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're a right bastard to work under, aren't you? No comment. I bet you are. <laughs> I bet you're awful. I'm so glad I don't work for you. Anyway, um... You need to get relevant for that bit. <laughs> uh, apparently I'm irrelevant. But where come on... I'm just making a little bit of that. Irrelevant. <laughs> he is irrelevant because he's very, very important with his Apple computer working. Well. I can only dream of one day being able to... Not... not I, I could own one. I'd go and buy an Apple computer today, but I couldn't work it, unfortunately. No. Now, my best mate Ron's got one. Yeah. It just annoys me. And, like, you move the mouse, and then suddenly everything disappears. Yeah. And I'm like, well, where's that got? Oh, it's moved over to... Move your mouse to the side. Oh, God's sake. Mind you, the Windows ones do that as well. They, they do, yeah. They're starting to you, take up the Apple... But you can uh, disable that. Okay. You, you put a tick in the box. Like, when I've got the new computer over there, if I'm... If I... I had a window there and moved it there, it would then open out to the whole screen. It's so annoying. 
when you're used to because uh, I'm not a change I don't like to no. change you don't, the, you don't like any change I'm not on the change you? at no. all no not on the no. change uh, oh he's in Asda oh, oh well I have to tell you Matthew uh, Asda is my f second favourite I love Asda yeah it's my second favourite supermarket after um, Lidl no, no, not Lidl. <laughs> Waitrose. Waitrose. Do you have a mate? Waitrose in Manchester? Of surely not. Of no. course, we have loads. Up north? Yeah. We have loads of Waitroses, yeah. Very to nice. get many customers. I bet they've got security guards on the door there and everything, aren't they? You know, people have a, a very strange idea of the north. I walked through Bermondsey the other day, so you can't have anything to oh, say Oh, yeah, you had a bit of trouble in Bermondsey, didn't you, dear? wasn't really trouble, but... What uh, happened? Oh, just some builders wolf whistling me. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have minded, but they were all ugly. You actually assume they fancied you, do you? Well, you know. Do you think it was the hair colour? It might have been the hair colour. Because you know. you've got burgundy hair. In fact, Marge, Marge is one of our regular um, uh, lovely people in Oklahoma, says she loves your hair colour. Oh, thank you, Marge. There you go. Yeah. What colour is it? What does it say on the packet? Um, it, well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually went red, first of all. Yeah. Um, and then I decided to go a bit purple. This was at Christmas, <laughs> and this is what's left from there. It's, it's not washed out yet. So I wouldn't even call it purple. I think it's a sort of faded. Is it because it's like it quite a, a permanent thing, or you just haven't washed? Is it, a, a, uh, a bit of both, probably. You, you haven't, yeah, didn't yeah. have a little shower this morning at all, did you? Well, no, because you, you no. plucked me out of my bed first Clucked thing in the morning. Out, I came to down. Say, You've got to get in here to do the shower. I never did. I came you down did. very quietly downstairs. I had my breakfast and cup of tea, and then I heard, like, you know, well, I thought it was a plane going across. <laughs> it was actually him walking across the floor in the spare, but I want to add that, spare bedroom, mm -hmm. okay? Spare bedroom. Yeah. There's no funny business goes no. here on in the studio of United Kingdom no. talk, unlike at that radio station that you work at, from what I heard. <gasps> That's terrible that to I suggest. I to talk off, but terrible to rumours about anyone, of course, you completely understand that. <laughs> um, yes, so he's in Asda. Did you go in Asda? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's really cheap, yeah. for, uh, and I, I'll go there. See, there isn't one near. That's the only reason. Yeah. I, I probably, I'd certainly choose it over the others. Why? I don't know why. I just quite like it. it might be. It could be something as simple as the colour scheme, and me not even realising. Could well that's be. That's why I go in there. Could well be. But I know um, I have these uh, packets of vegetables mm. now. You know the ones that you put in the microwave and you, you, you get either a bag or a little plastic box thing? Yeah. A couple of quid, um, about, well, the, the large one's about $3.50. And that's, that's for one helping. I know Marge in Oklahoma will be shocked at how much I pay for vegetables, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lazy way of doing it, really, Marge. Mm. You could just buy the vegetables, cut them off. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I buy these, I, I the little plastic boxes. Now, from Waitrose, they're two pounds. Right. right? And in there, you'll get um, like little carrots that are kind of stringed. I don't know oh, what, right, what yeah, would you yeah. call that. Um, I'm not sure. I know what you mean, though. Yeah, they've, they've like string the yeah. carrots. There's um, corn, mm -hmm. corn on the cob, like just the little... They're corns. Seeds. What, what the individual they? corns? Yeah, the little individual corns. There's peas and a couple of other bits in there and two bits of butter. Well, that's two quid. It's one mm. ninety nine. Now, that same thing in Asda, minus the butter yeah. and the plastic pot. So, mm -hmm. plastic bag, but the contents are exactly the same. Yeah. One pound. Yeah. So I do, you could add I, your own butter. Yeah, I do quite like Asda, but you don't get the service you get. We go and Waitrose and like, all the staff talk to you and they've got time and it, it's it's a day out <laughs> I actually you know sometimes I go in there and I think well I don't really want to come don't really want to buy anything in here and um, that's why they're all being nice to you they're worried you're going to be nicking food or something they go why he keeps coming in and just walking around not buying anything no I do though <laughs> that's just it I go in with no inter like the other day I went in there, I'd run out of these packets of vegetables, so yeah. I went in there, because we're going to get the vegetables and have a cup of tea as well while I was in there, mm. um, I think it was on my own this time. And outside, <clears throat> they've got this plant display. Now, obviously in the winter, hardly anything there. Yeah. Well, it all seems to have arrived this week. And I ended up spending £55 <laughs> on plants. I had no index, £55, that's about, uh, 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 about 80 uh, Eighty dollars on plants mm. that I had no intention of buying before I got in there. 
uh, impulse purchase. Yes. Mm. I am shocking in a garden centre. And then the thing is, I get the stuff home, and I think to myself, well, I'm like, I look around, well, where can I put this? Oh, and yeah. uh, you've seen... I've seen your garden. Yeah. There's not if, much room left now. No. One, mm. Any regular viewers will know, uh, last year, I was di the last couple of years, I'd, I've tried vegetables in that, like, vegetable pot. Of limited success, really. Mm. I've got some, a few bits. Certainly the runner beans were very easy to grow. Uh, potatoes, again, easy to grow. Tomatoes, I don't know what's going on with those, because I just kept get this blight. Now that's like, so you see a tomato, a little black dot. Right. Right. You leave it, and the whole crop goes. Oh, right. Yeah, and I lost... I had two washing-up bowls mm. full of tomatoes, and I just had to chuck them. It's a shame. There it is. Yeah. Potato get potatoes are easy to grow. I've no idea. This is typical of one of your shows. Oh, yes. You know, so, ramble so, off on yeah. yeah, so I've been doing vegetables. Yeah. And then last year, I decided, right, well, I've done those now. I want it to be a bit more pretty. It might be an mm. age thing, I don't know. And I started putting in buying shrubs mm. and bulbs and all the bulbs are coming up as you can see we've got daffodils the snowdrops have been and gone now mm -hmm. um we've got hyacinths coming up now and the crocuses have been and gone so they're the bulbs but i've been buying shrubs and this week i bought a couple of christmas roses right, right? so they flower december to march april mm. right? so they're in flower now put them in and that's it and I've been doing this since September, mm. looking at stuff, it's in season, flowering or whatever, yeah. putting it in, it flowers, and then the only thing with all this is, it actually takes 12 months for you to realise yeah. your work. Yeah. You so see? You've got different things that yeah. flower at different times, so you've got that to is it, That through. is why yeah. I'm doing it like this, mm. so like I can go into a shop and say, oh, I like the look of that, put it in the ground, you get a couple of weeks out of it, and then next year it'll come up. So come September, mm. I will have completed the task. Ah, so you'll and start I'm, seeing yeah, yeah. the results. I also got these packets of wild seeds. They're good. Ten, oh, and you so. just sprinkle them. Yeah. And I think I made a bit of a mistake there. So I've sprinkled it, and I know what some of the flowers are about to come up. Mm. because of the leaves yeah and so uh, again i went to waitrose this week and i bought a couple of uh, poppies poppies oh, right. i see the leaves mm -hmm. put them in and then i noticed there are other things they're growing with those same leaves from the seeds ah. but it is a bit prone to weeds weeds out there mm -hmm. so these wild seeds have come up well i don't know what the flowers <laughs> are <laughs> And what the weeds are, but never mind. Let's do some um, uh, uh, messages here. Uh, hello to Sean, who says, Anna's got issues with the show won't load and freezing. You two look good on camera. Uh, but your, yours works, doesn't it, Sean? Is your, have you got your computer as well? Or your, are you watching on iPhone? But you're watching an iPhone. Can I suggest Anne restarts her machine? But don't rush it. I think one of the common things people do, they've got a problem with a the computer, they mm. restart, and then the picture comes, and they start to restart it, when the picture comes on, leave it for five minutes, I've got a terrible itch on my back. Could you scratch my back just there, please? Then? You want me to scratch no, that's back okay. with uh, yeah, some people are, No, people you, start talking. Yeah. It'll end up in the sun or something like that, you know. Yeah. Tameside radio host mm. abducted yeah. and brought to United Kingdom mm. talk, only I, to be tortured in the studio. I, I do hope you've got a hot dinner on for me, because, you know... You could have had a hot dinner, <laughs> but you're running off, aren't you? At one o'clock? God! Um, hello to... Oh, where's the mouse gone? Hello to Kieran. And uh, Kieran says, I've got issues on my MacBook, so now watching on your TV. Is oh. it a big... T oh, are we on like a 50-inch TV or something like that? I bet my friend looks really fat on that, don't you? Thank you. That's okay, <laughs> That's okay, darling. Uh, he says, not too late f for me. Need my beauty sleep. Watch it this morning. What, the, the, um, the live show on Wednesday? Because we did a, a live Wednesday night show this week. All right. That was really good. I mm. really, really enjoyed that. Um, there's, there's something very, very different about doing 11 o'clock at night or 11, well, 
tw or 12 o'clock yeah. in the afternoon. Yeah. Well, Completely be, different atmosphere. Mm, people have to get up in time for this. Yes. I keep yeah. missing, missing what it. What do you mean, so get what? up in time? It's at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, dear. I know, but What you do know. you do with yourself all day? Well, when you're a very important person like very, me. You, very, it's, it's very important too, person. Yeah, James Dean, very, very important, very important person. person. Pen in mouth, darling, that's it, pen in mouth. I'd like to find you something. Oh, and I'm, I'm ready to do interviews. <laughs> you borrowed that one. I did, still yeah. working. Is it? Still working, my my extremely expensive little bit of recording gear. That's when we just did audio only, isn't it? It was, yeah. We, I think, uh, in fact, that's um, provided audio for Tameside Radio. Did it really? It did. We recorded uh, an entire show outside one of the pubs you were working Oh, at. that's right. That's when you were interviewing the wonderful Nicky French. Uh, who? who? Nicky French, dear. That? Don't be nasty, dear. <laughs> she represented the UK for the Eurovision Song Contest. 2002? 2000. 2000. I think. So she got the millennium <laughs> I've got show. that right. Bad, bad. <laughs> Sean says, food, glorious food. Oh, he says... <coughs> you two look good on camera. It's actually T W O, sure, not T W O, dear. Mm. Please check um, your spelling before you send in messages. Unless what? he's meaning that we look good on camera as well as him. You two look good on camera. You two? I never yeah. like their music. <laughs> no. In the name. Oh, it's so dreary of love. I bet. I bet. Um, we've got a guy called Duncan who's with us. Uh, Daniel who's with us this morning. Now he's in Camberley. Uh, family man. Couple mm -hmm. of. I think two two little children that, but I, th I reckon he'd be a U two type person. I can see him, you know, a little bit drunk at a karaoke night. Mm. They were, oh mate, can I come sing a song? Yeah, I'm really really good. Can I go next? He'd be one of those, yeah. you know. He would. Anyway, he says, "Hi Chris, is that your natural hair colour?" <laughs> Now, you've got to be careful with some of James's messages, or Daniel's messages, yeah. right? Read before you speak. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. No, he's talking about your hair, not mine. I haven't got any. Look. Well, no, that's what, yeah. Mm. I had my hair cut this week. It's a nice Chris, you skin like... coloured. Eh? Nothing. Now, what do you think of that next comment that is sent in there? <clears throat> um, when you say, what do I think about it? Well, read it out, dear. Um, Chris, you like Alistair because you're a chav. A chav? A chav. I wouldn't have said that, would you? With my high quality clothing and what have you? No, I'd, I'd say um, midlife crisis. Now Mi you're dressing like a chaff. Midlife young. crisis? What do you mean midlife crisis? That's mm. at 40, I'm way past that. That's now, true. <laughs> uh, and try and stay awake. You've got an hour of this. I know, tell well, me about it. 40 minutes now, dear. <laughs> um, good morning, Kieran. Uh, do you have a clipboard? When you're at work, no, you haven't got one here, have you? No. Uh, I've got one downstairs. I won't get that. No. Just start <laughs> telling people what telling people like. truths yeah. about me. That'd be awful, mm. dear. Awful. No, I, I, actually, I do have a clipboard at work. I've just remembered. I do have one. I think you. I don't walk around with it though. I think you're more important. <laughs> that you, you're more important to have a clipboard. You have an iPad, don't you? I have an iPad. You walk around with an iPad. I used to. The iPad's now the auto cue in our video studio. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so he does have a clipboard. Uh, Terry H is with us. Do you remember Terry? Terry H, <clears throat> I do, yeah. CMP. Yeah. <laughs> I've got one of the jingles here somewhere. I can't find it anyway. So, uh, good morning to Terry. Uh, Sean says, My little. What's that then? I've no idea. What does that mean? My little hedgehog. I don't know. We don't understand that, Sean. Don't start sending cryptic messages. You know, we only have an hour, so we can't <laughs> quite work out what you're saying. Uh, good morning to Wendy Young. Wendy is a Manilo girl, one of oh, the Manilo right. girls. Mm -hmm. And I met her through Manilo-type things mm. and, and what have you. Anyway, she says, hi, Chris. Just wanted to say thank you for all your hard work. Oh, no, hang on. That's the wrong message, isn't it? One minute, one minute. There's another one here. There we are. <laughs> Now, where did that one go? That one was sent on Thursday. No, I think we're reading the wrong one. There it is. It's got a bit... No, it's not there. She sent in... There it is. There it is. Uh, Wendy says, I remember James from the last time he was on your show a few months back. I was born and raised in Tameside. I remember you mentioned it to him last time. Look forward to seeing you again. So you weren't actually... Raised in Tameside, No, you? no, not at all. Um, I, I, uh, I was brought up in a place called Cheadle Hume, which is Stockport. It's on the what Cheshire. What is it called? Cheadle Hume. 
That sounds very posh, James. He's, he's on the edge of the Cheshire Green Belt, where the, you know all the footballers live. Oh, um, and is then, that the, do you get wags there, darling? Wags uh, a bit further out from us, but yeah. Well, I think Wendy wanted to be always wanted oh. to be a wag. You see her sometimes. It's very sad. She's hanging around football, you know, the back door of football stadiums, mm. you know, hoping to meet the footballers, and she's like yeah. starts screaming. They just walk past. I don't know why that is. Don't. I don't know. And what's happened over here? What what, what <laughs> what's happened there? You probably moved. Did you touch something? I, did, I have not. Are you touching anything. things down there? It looks all such. Does it look smaller now? Everything. Um, something seems to be missing. Was there yeah. something else on there? Don't know. We'll find out when you're looking for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mind you, you you do that, don't you? Hang around football station stadiums or around, outside the dressing rooms, open to meet them, don't you? No, no. I go in and do interviews with them. Do you? Then? Yeah. Whilst oh. they're getting changed. No. What while they're in the pool? In the little, that little, um, they all share the same bath. I know. Filthy, dirty I know. people. Terrible. Oh, no, I couldn't ever do that. I haven't even no. got, I haven't got a bath here, no, you, no. as you well know. No. I think it's disgusting. Sitting there in dirty water for hours on end. Not let that with like 12 other people. Oh, God. Terrible. My sister, she's got a, um, what's that thing? A hot tub. Right, yeah, yeah. No, no. Oh. Oh, but you go swimming. No. You go swimming. Yeah, but oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Do you go in the jacuzzi? Is there a jacuzzi at the pool? There is a jacuzzi. Do I don't know. No, yeah. no, no. It's the same water all, that's in the pool. There's people in there. Di <laughs> oh, God. That is the same water, actually. Yeah. The funny thing with the jacuzzi at the swimming pool that I go to, mm. there it's the same temperature as the swimming pool. Yeah. The the one that my gym's um, a lot warmer, a lot hotter. But I, th I think the reason is that the jacuzzi is at one end of the pool, raised mm. up, and then the overflow from the jacuzzi goes straight goes into, into the, the pool. pool. Mm. That can't be nice. I was talking to um, one of the pool boys at another mm. thing. I, not chatting them up, mm. just talking mm. to them. You yeah, understand, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, of course. His little T-shirt. No? Yeah. And um, he said the first... I think he said the first five inches at the top of the pool are is dirty. Yeah. He says, if you want to really swim in clean water, to go under that. I thought, I'm not putting my head under the water. <laughs> I'm like, drown. I don't put my head in the water while I'm swimming. Oh, I'm one of those. No. I, <laughs> to be totally and, honest, I do. And, this, and one of the lovely girls, they're, not, they're all nice people. I go to the Hilton Hotel up the mm. road now. It's only a small pool, and it never really gets that busy. Um... Uh, <laughs> I've lost, the, I've lost the train of... <laughs> You've lost the plot Where was I? Yes, swimming pools. You've gone to the Hilton. Oh, yes, the, and the staff are all really nice. Mm. There's Sean. She's about to drop a baby. Right. Uh, so we're having a little surprise get-together for her. Well, don't tell her She does all the cleaning. Well, she doesn't watch this programme, <laughs> do But funnily enough, the manager watches it sometimes. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, Trevor. Yeah. yeah, he watches the show sometimes. Let me think this. Trevor, he's like the big boss. Such a nice bloke. A really nice man, and he's got his little family. Mm. I met his daughter the other... I think it was his daughter. Uh, was it a girl? Did he have a daughter? girl or a boy with him? I think it was his daughter. <laughs> Can't remember now. No, I'm sure it was his daughter. He brought his daughter down, mm -hmm. and... Uh, they were having a swim, I think, doing her school holidays. And then there's another couple of girls. There's a new boy started, Aaron. Uh, we've only met him once. Mm -hmm. There's the personal training bloke. Mm -hmm. I think his name's Mark. And then there's little Danny. And Danny, sometimes Danny is very important. Right. He Does he have a clipboard? Yeah. Well, well. <laughs> On a normal day, when he's not important, he has on like black shorts and a white t-shirt or a red uh, hoodie or something yeah. like that. You know, something similar to that. But when he's important, he has this really pristine grey suit on. Ah. And he has a little badge, assistant manager. Ah. Very, very important. But no clipboards. No. So I don't know. I haven't seen him walking around with a clipboard. Mm. Remind me to tell you a story about the pool boy at uh, our uh, my gym, but uh, I can't say it on air. <sighs> okay then. Now uh, some more messages coming up. Uh, Marge says I'm watching on my tablet video ten audio ten. There you go. Ah. And she's in Oklahoma, Anne. What sort of equipment? And Anne's only in Lewisham. Have you been to Lewisham? Um, I w I've been through it once. Right. Let me tell you. It's close, and you would get the same sort of thing as in Bermondsey. Right. 
Oh, God, Lewisham, <laughs> uh, <coughs> Your friend is adorable. I want to oh, pinch his you. cheeks. Oh, that's all right, Marge. I'll do it for you. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marge says, I want to grow potatoes. Do you mound them up or just put them in regular rows? How deep and far apart? Now, your, mound up. Um, your partner used to do this. Yeah. So, how do you grow potatoes? You put them in the ground, water them, but then uh, you keep mounding up as it grows. You keep mounding up soil around the outside and keep going so you're almost covering the leaves. Right. And just keep going and going until they're ready to... Uh, but where does that other worth come from? Do you must have two dips on oh, the Oh, yeah, side. you do, yeah. Yeah, right. or, or you can put extra compost on. I top. didn't find that easy doing that. Right. Don't know why. I just didn't. Uh, we've got a call coming in. Oh. We have a phone call. Good morning. Good morning, Chris and fellow minions. Who's that? It's Sean. Hello, young Sean. And you're in Lewisham as well today, aren't you? Yeah, we're in Lewisham. And what do you think of it round there? God. Oh, there's some good parts and there's some bad parts. You the best part is when I'm with Anne. You take your life <laughs> in your hands. Is that speaker working over there? I'm not um, sure. We're okay. Yes, we, um, yes. her, it's weird. We've had to get her, her, your show on her iPhone to work. All oh, right, because your computer won't work this morning. Yeah, and her tablet won't work. What, can't she do anything on it? No. Oh, well, one moment. Let's go over to our technical assistant, James. Her. Her tablet won't work. Can you? Can I? Is it an i? An i tablet? Was it an i? An iPad. And is it an iPad? Yeah, but she's got it on her iPhone. But we've turned it off while we're on the phone. Well, it's, so it's an iPad. Yeah. Will it go? Will it turn on? Yeah. And can you browse the internet? Yeah. But you can't watch this. I think she's got it on airplane mode again. <laughs> oh crap. I told her that. No, so she was on yeah, I'll bring it up here, I'll be able to find that on here somewhere, I reckon. Um She was on there the other day because she's not not very technical savvy, but that's hmm. a lot of people aren't, so that's okay. Uh and she was saying, um, should I turn the should she, oh should she turn the Wi Fi off? What was the question that you asked on the internet the other day, Anne? What was the question that you asked the other day? That you asked Chris about for technical purposes? She can't remember. So it was something to do, and some bloke said, no, turn the Wi-Fi off. <laughs> no, t oh, no, flight, flight, flight mode. mode. Flight yeah. mode. She, uh, the question was, if she turns the flight mode on, mm. does it then take off the 3G or 4G and work off Wi-Fi. And I said, no, it will completely stop working, yeah. other than games and things that you can do on, as long as you don't want to be connected. And some bloke replied to her, no, it does work. You so I don't know. You can set it up so oh, right. that you can turn your Wi-Fi on whilst you're in aeroplane mode. But the standard when you turn it on on the Apple devices oh. is to work everything. Yeah, now, just pass my phone, because this is going to be the same as her iPad, isn't it? Yeah. Right. I think I know what you mean. Yeah, Anne? Yeah? Can she hear me? Yeah. She's very quiet this morning. Why is that? She's trying to message you on Skype. All right. So... Uh, yes. Uh, right. Anne, go and get your, um... Where's it again? Good right, morning, back. good morning. Is that the international... Is that well, the international cut all the crap, dear, and just listen. <laughs> <laughs> listen, here. Here, listen, listen. Have you got your iPad there? I have, but listen, listen. I'm a listener, and it's boring listening to technology. No, it's and not. No, it's not boring it, though. It is Other people might have bulb. this problem, so shut up and listen. Turn it on. Talk about your bulb. Is it on? Yeah, it is on. Right. Go to settings. All right. Go to settings. I'll let Sean do this. Have you so done this that? Is really boring for your listeners to listen to it's not boring <laughs> it's not boring you're being right. boring by not listening okay all right i'm listening i'm all yours are I'm you on setting sean yeah right okay is the wi-fi picking anything up what does it say well it's not on there yet is it it's on now yeah, it's on all right have you got settings on yeah is wi-fi on yeah yeah is it connected yeah, okay. to something the wi-fi yeah right Airplane mode, is it on or off? It's off. Right, turn it on. Yep. You want it on? Okay. Right. 
Yeah. Has the Wi-Fi now gone off? Yeah. yeah. Right. Click the Wi-Fi. Yeah. It'll bring up another button. Yeah. Right. Now turn that on. Yeah. Well, which one? We've got to cut it. Yeah, it's on. Whichever one is yours. Yeah, yeah we've on. got that. Yeah. Right. Give it a second. Is that logged on to that? Yeah. Right, you, I will try it now. See what happens now. Now you're connected to the Wi-Fi and you've switched off the 3G, OK? Now, Anne, yeah. are you doing this because you don't want to use your 3G? No. This is your radio show, by the way. Yeah. It's, um, we just had a problem getting on with the laptop as well. You, today, but, what, that, you that, know. that bleeping noise? Yeah. Right, that is the beginning of, of the test signal. You, you've come in right at the beginning. Um, just try refreshing that page. Yeah, we've got it. We've got it. We've got, got it. it. We've got you. Is that working now? Yeah. There you go. All right. Technical yeah. technology. Yeah. I'm talking about, uh, because we were talking about flowers earlier. Talking about what? Flowers. Yes. Um, you're going to love this. Anne's got this plant, I'm just putting it going in the kitchen because I can't think of what it's called. Right. Um, it's called a Diana, di it's a flycatcher. It's a what? A flycatcher, it's D-I-O-N-A-E-A. D-I-O-N... A-N-A? Yeah. No, I can't Dine. find anything on that. that. You must be spelling it wrong, darling. Um, Dine, hang on, let's say flycatcher. Go on, tell us about it. It lich. well, we've been rubbing inside the plant and it closes thinking that we're food. Oh, well, do be careful, dear. You don't want that to grow too fast. <laughs> 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 it's, a, it's a lovely plant. Well, we can't find that. We think you're um, making it up. Have you, is it just something that you've made out of paper? Are you doing origami? Is that no. what it is? Are you doing? Have you just made it out of paper? Oh, it'd be amazing if it was. No, it's a real plant. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Sean, you do a little radio show now, don't you? I do. Tell us all about it, lovey. Yeah, um, I try and do one every between Tuesdays and Saturdays. Yeah. Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday are my music shows. Yes. And on Thursday and uh, Wednesday and Thursday, I do like a chat show, like you do on a Saturday and your new Wednesday show. And how can people find that, Sean? Um, if you go on my Facebook or you can go on my Twitter account and it, all the details will go up there. And what is your Twitter uh, and your Facebook, please? Uh, my Twitter is at official under slash, under, yeah, under slash, underscore, um, Sean C. Um, yes. And it's on the, an app called Sp Sparika. And... Uh, last Wednesday, I did a two and a half hour show all about Eurovision. And where, where is there a recording of this available? Yeah. And where would someone find that? Yeah, it's all online. Yeah, but where? Um, if, all you have to do is go on the website Sparika. Um, how do, how do you spell S that? S P R E A K E R. And then all you have to do is to search for me, it's JM15697, and all the recordings that I had for the last few weeks are on there. Well, so what's your name? JM15697. 15697. Let me see if I can find that there. Uh, no tracks or collections for JM15697. Hang on. Try Sean Crabtree on it. Sean Crabtree. Oh, yes, yeah. there you are. So what they've got to do is search... Oh, you've got loads of stuff up there, haven't you? And it's got my selfie stick in it. Oh, not that damn selfie stick. Put it away. <laughs> oh, oh, I hate those. I don't like them. Hang on a minute. Is that 18 million viewers? Oh, no, 18... Oh, that's the date. <laughs> <laughs> You're not 479 plays. Yeah. That's more than I get for my shows, Sean. I know. Is that because you're young and cute? Do you think that's what it is? Is it because you're cute? You're cute too. I'm not cute. Look at me, dear. I'm, 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 I'm practicing. I've got, I've got like leprosy. There's bits of me falling <laughs> over all over the place, dear. <laughs> anyway, nice to talk to you, Sean. 
I'm talking to you. So, once again, if you want to try out Sean's uh, shows, go to Spreets. Was it Spreaker? Spreaker. S P R E A K E R. And then type in the search bit Sean Crabtree. S E A N. And Crabtree. And then you can see all his little shows down there. He's been doing that for a while. You're a young person. How old are you, Sean? And hopefully on Wednesday I'll be doing all about X Factor, which is where I'm off to right now, to the X Factor tour. You're doing all about what? Uh, X Factor on Wednesday show, because I'm off to the X Factor tour right now at the O2 Arena. With oh, Adrian. OK. <coughs> Who's on there, then? Oh, we have um, Stevie Ritchie, um, I Need a Young, Flirt East, Ben Haynow, and... Uh, ben Haynow won and the others. Anyone I know? Is he the one with the beard? Ben Haynow. Yeah. Oh, and get rid of that bloody beard. It just looks so dirty. I don't know. I mean, I don't mind, you know, a little bit of growth. Yeah, actually, you've got that. That's yeah. okay. Or even a bit more. But these, yeah. some of these lads are now growing these great big beards. And it just yeah. looks disgusting. But it can't Awful. be any worse than me in a minion onesie. Oh, God. Sean's got this onesie. You look like mm. a Teletubby. Not his weight. It was just the outfit that he had yeah. on. He looked like a bloody... T- he looked awful. I, th- I thought that minion outfit Please, was what, right. They're out now. They're completely out now, those onesies. Not this one. I'm it, about to go to... I'm going to go to Arena in it. It certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> nice to talk to you, Sean. Nice to talk to Make you. Make sure she you. gives you some dinner while she's there as well. I will do. Cheerio. <laughs> well, wait a bit. <laughs> <laughs> bye-bye now. Cheerio. Bye-bye. All right, there we are. That was nice. A short yeah. little issue. talking there. Uh, some more messages coming up here. Uh, Marge says, Sean better be careful with that plant. It might be like that on Little you know, Shop I of Horrors. I was thinking that. Oh. I was thinking it would be like an Audrey too. Oh, and she says, see, here, yeah, look, tech talk isn't boring. See, it's all very well asking a technical question uh, yeah. because there might be other people who have got that problem. And yeah. well, I've just fixed your computer, Anne. We just fix it for no fee. Yeah. No dialing 0905 and being charged no. £1.83 a minute plus a £2 connection charge. Of course. What I find most amazing <laughs> about that is that you fix something technical. <laughs> Actually. To do with computers and over the phone. This is the funny thing. <laughs> if it's someone else's computer right. or problem, mm-hmm. I'm generally able to help. Yeah. When it's myself, I just go to bits. <laughs> I know. I absolutely go to yeah. bits. Are you the same? No, no, I've just, I've, I've been on the other end of the phone when you're asking me to help you fix oh, something. Oh, don't. I mean, like those days of Windows 95. Oh, God. Christ. Why won't it just do it? Exactly. what you used to say. I know. Yeah. Anne says, hi, Chris, me and Sean and Brandon. Uh, Brandon's a regular. He, he watches, he's never up at this time. He, ah. he was with us for the live show for the first time live. Because he doesn't get up to like four o'clock in the morning right. afternoon. Uh, me, Sean, and Grandon had a great day out and first met up in Croydon this week. Had a belated birthday celebration and ended up in Frankie and Benny's. Oh, I quite like them. Yeah. Yeah, Frankie and Benny's. They do a lovely tomato soup. Uh, do you like cow zones? What are they? That, that isn't that the um, Eurovision one. Is it? Is it? I don't know. I can't remember what they. Are called. you going to bet on a Eurovision winner this year? Because last year I won four hundred quid. Oh, yes, you did. Didn't yeah, you? I, I, I that. was yeah, convinced yeah. that was going to ring. Oh, yeah. um, I haven't heard any of the songs yet other than the UK one. What do I think of the UK one? We were talking about that last night. We were. I don't know. I don't dislike it. Do I like it a lot? I don't know. I, I, I honestly can't comment, and I have no idea how that British song's going to do this week. Absolutely no idea. No. What do you think? Um pretty much the same I'm not mm. sure it's, it's got elements that would make it a good Eurovision song yeah. it's got elements that are catchy you know I quite like the style of how the song's done but yeah. uh, whether it'll do anything I don't know yeah look Daniel in Camberley he oh, says yeah. Chris likes to hang around footballers back doors I've never been to a football stadium in my life what are you talking yeah. about uh, he says, this is very boring, but not as boring as most Saturdays without you, James. <laughs> well, that, that's, uh, that's... All he does, yeah. he, he never has anything constructive to say, really, nah. at all. By the way, there's an email address if you want to contact the show, whether you're watching the recording or the live programme. The email address is chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. All right, chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Now, uh, Kieran says... Uh, do you go dressed as a minion to Big Brother? Oh, is this um, 
Does James have a clipboard? Very important people have a clipboard. Oh, of course, yeah. And um, does Sean go dressed as a minion to Big Brother, which is going to run till 2018? Oh, oh, have you seen that? They've renewed it. Oh. How can you renew that and not Dallas? No. I don't understand. I mean, who who would find it interesting to sit watching two people that are barely celebrities talking about things? I know, I know. Awful. Yeah. Alfie is in Folkestone. Alfie's a new um, person. And he's... <laughs> oh, dear. He's sent us... I've got your little healing thing there. Thank you. Um, uh, he does... Uh, uh, Healing, you know, like healing type. Oh, right. Not right. a doctor. Like, yeah. Like, what do you call Alternative yeah. uh, with, like, power and that, Reiki right. and all that. And he sent in a picture of his, him on a onesie. I don't know if I can show this. Um, I will try. With a beard as well. Save image as. Yeah, well, tr let me try and show people this little image of you. Have you got a onesie, James? Um, I do, actually. <laughs> you don't, do I you? I do, do yeah. Oh, you don't wear it out, surely? No, no, I've never worn oh, it thank out. thank God for that. That onesie, we call yeah, it. Yeah, although I might, you know, it's, it, does, it does seem to be happening. People are wearing them out. They're not? They are. Why? God's sake, these people. Right, let's get that in there. I've not actually set this up to show pictures, really. Mm. So this week, it could all go terribly <laughs> wrong now, you know that, don't you? <laughs> and if it does, it'll be your fault, Alfie. Alfie's in Folkestone, he lives by the sea. Oh, right, it's nice. Do I live by the sea? Um, I've lived by the sea before. Have you? Yeah, oh, I lived, yeah. lived in Blackpool. Oh, right, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, Blackpool's nice, but only out of, uh, only in season. Right. Out of season, it becomes Does terrible. it? Yeah. I've never been to Blackpool. You've never been to Blackpool? No, never been to Blackpool. Steve Allen, now, do I drag that into there? Mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's gone on player three. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, there you go. Ah. There we are. There's Alfie in his onesie. Uh, onesie at... Uh, onesie at... What's that? 144, 142. Alfie in his onesie. Looking a bit like a devil there, one. You are, Alfie? <laughs> He's a devil. He's a devil in disguise. La, da, 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 da. Uh, that's the man you want to talk to. If you um, uh, decide to have any sort of healing or anything like that done. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't read his full um, email, did I? And now that's disappeared as well. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. That was really being too ambitious to try. There, is that, there he is. He says, I'll just try and get up to you, and if you can, share. Thank you. I don't wear it out. It's my girlfriend's. Oh, no, oh. Alfie. You're not starting to wear your girlfriend's clothes, are you? Oh, That's slippery how that, slope. Who was that bloke? Katie Alex Price. Alex Reed. That's how Alex Reed started. Mm. Oh, yes. Wearing women's clothes. Mind you, you, you was a bit of a drag queen, wasn't you? Well, you know, still do occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> now, James. Uh, hello to Mike this morning. Says, hi, Chris. Good to see you. Up and now running in HD. My monitor is 42 inches. Oh. Look at that. The opening theme music was only on the right-hand side. But it seemed... Oh, was it? The opening theme music was only on the right-hand side. Well, That's interesting. Okay, yeah. thank you, Mike. I'll have a look at that. Let me. I wonder why that is. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So that's got to be... I think there's a loose wire down there, yeah. actually. I think that's probably what that is. Hope all is well. I found this for the video lo lo logo. Let's see what he sent us in there. Oh, a picture of a oh. cat. Oh, do you want to see that, boys and girls? What a beautiful cat. Look at that. That is a nice cat. Oh, uh, uh, oh again, I'm having trouble. Do you, what? you don't want to see the cat, do you? It's too much effort to find that. <laughs> it really is. And time is moving along. Oh, let me try and do it then. Hang on a minute. Uh, desktop, public, uh, music, video, right. Cat on there, on there. No, no, don't st <laughs> yeah, look, 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 you, don't bad start bad. sending photos in for Christ's sake, because <laughs> it will all go terribly wrong if you do that. Chris, eight, there it is. There, so he should be. <sighs> what I've got to do is set up the folders so that I don't have to go through this every yeah. time I want to bring something in. Right, so it, that should be there. Uh, where is it now? Is that it there? Yeah. Put that there. 
And what did I do before? Just drag Just it in drag there. It in. That's oh, oh it's gone in there now. Yeah. That doesn't matter. So here's the cat. Look at that. Thank you, Mike. Is that your cat? Why are not? Why am I not on your telly? That's the thing. My setup. I'm watching you and another cat picture. We like that cat. That is very much like Ronnie's cat. Is it? Yes, he's mm. got a what's it called? A rag doll. Is it a rag doll? A rag doll cat or something like that? I've not heard of that. That type of cat. And it's like brown and little little black uh, little black face on there. Beautiful cat. And that's all. Sean's sent a blooming picture in as well. Now, if I've dragged that one in, I don't know where that's going to end up. Because <laughs> we've already lost two things there, haven't we? Um, yeah, that, that needs to go in there. Uh, let's see what Sean sent in there. Oh, God. Oh. Do we really want to see that? Uh, no, don't. No, I'm not. No, I'm not sending that. Right, I'm not. That's it. Attack the mic now. I'm not going to do it anymore. Now, <laughs> James is in here to talk about something, and we've wasted 58 minutes almost. 48 minutes. It's all right. It's now, expected. Eh? It's expected on one of your shows. <laughs> James runs a radio station uh, up near Ma in Manchester. In a, 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 is it a suburb? Um, I suppose. Yeah, it'd be a, a. Is it like a borough? Yeah. But right, in 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 one of Manchester's. In, within Greater Manchester, it's... Burrows. Yeah. So it's Borough of Tameside. Yeah. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, called Tameside Radio. And yeah, what is it? Tameside NBC, Tameside Metropolitan Borough Council. Right. Tameside, is it like a standalone radio station or is it part of something? It, it's part of a, a large group. Um, we uh, The group's called Quest Media Network. We um, have a couple of print products. So we have the Tameside Report from the Gossip Chronicle, which yes. are, are two newspapers. Uh, we've also got Inside Tameside, which is the web platform. And, uh, what we are those newspapers again? The Tameside Reporter and uh, the Glossop Chronicle. Right, OK. Now, Glossop's interesting. It's actually just outside of Tameside. It's in Derbyshire. Right. But it's, um, it's sort of... Glossop's got its own identity. It's not part of... It, officially, it's part of Derbyshire, but it seems to have its own identity. Mm. So, uh, so that's one of our other print products. And Do they Glossop's receive the station as well, though? Or? Um, you, you, can, you can hear it in, in Glossop, but, it's but not we don't officially... Then. Right. So it just yeah. a little bit of an overspill yeah. there as well, is it? So, how is it financed, Tameside Radio? Is it the newspapers that finance it? Uh, well, it's it's done through through advertising. We uh, offer out advertising uh, with all community radio stations. A certain amount of money has to come through grants and donations. Yes. Um, so that happens. We have a, a sponsor, New Charter, that um, that do that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much where the money comes from to run that. And what do you do there? What do you actually do there? Well, my, my job is uh, as Digital and Radio Operational Business Manager. So that again? Digital and Radio right. Operational Business Manager. Now, we have a, a station manager. So who, you, sa you said that was digital. So yeah. is that like separate for a, from FM, or am I going completely uh, in the wrong direction? When we're talking digital as in yeah. the web platform. Yeah. Um, right, right. So it's things like our video products on there. So if we do live video, that falls under digital. Yeah. Uh, if we're streaming the radio online, that's digital. Uh, so that's where that, that comes in. Uh, the radio has a, a station manager that looks after the day-to-day -day and the operational side right. of you know the presenters and, and you know that style of things. Um, I'm above him, telling right. him, doing the strategy and how, how we're going to work the station, if you like, I set okay. the rules and the policies. Do you hire DJs? Um, it would or come. It, radio presenters. Do you? Is that? Do you do that? Um, it, it would be presented to me to make a decision. Right. But the station manager would make the creative decision on that. Okay. And who do, do you decide the programs that go out? Well, we, we've actually just started something really interesting um, that I don't think has been done at a community station before, I might be wrong. We have a, a radio review board, which is a, a board of staff, volunteers, uh, community members that put together ideas for the show, and it actually yeah. runs like a, like a proper board. They will put Oh, it's a board out. level dip. It very, is, yeah, yeah. Very, very, very important. If you oh, have two yeah. pairs of glasses, yes, I would have so, to ask yeah, you to yeah. put them on there, dear. Mm. Very, so we, very yeah. important. <laughs> Board level. Do you remember that in Are You Being Served? We've got a meeting at board level. <laughs> Do you remember that? The bald guy. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Captain Peacock. Now, 
How did you do? You do your own show? Um, I, I did have my own show on the station. Um, we, I joined forces with John Mercer, a friend of mine that you know. Um, he now has taken over a lot of the on-air stuff that I used to do, right. um, just because of my, my time nowadays. Um, so, I, what time do you start and finish then? Um, well, ooh, I'm, I'm in work for nine most days, or earlier sometimes. So right. um, normally finish around six, seven o'clock. Gosh, that's a long day. Do you manage to get a couple of breaks in there or not? Um, it's or is it sandwiches at a desk? It's it, well, sandwiches at the desk. If um, if I've got time, I'll take a mm. take a break. It's I mean, you know, in creative environments, it's very unrigid sort of yeah, I know, time yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and you know the station's on air 24 7 I don't, so. have, I don't have a tea break when I'm doing no. a, a, a karaoke night or a quiz you don't stop yeah. for a tea you just no. No. but I, I manage to have something you know yeah. a cup of tea or something now and again mm. But um, but no, so I mean, I, d I do have breaks, and there might be some days where you know I might go out for lunch and come back an so hour you, and a half later. Or you don't do a regular show, no? Not not really, no. But isn't that why you came into radio? Um, it's why I started in radio. Yeah. Have you uh, grown out of that? No, wanting to host. I enjoy doing it. I really enjoy presenting, but I also really enjoy making sure that everything is there for the station to run properly right. um you know the business side of it looking after the finances all that um i, I find that just as rewarding but mm. uh, i still enjoy doing shows when i get a chance i did one uh, the other thursday to to help right. out um but also i think it's it's important to, for me not to just take on any show i want you know because that'll just look yeah. like oh he's he's in charge he can yeah, do whatever yeah, he wants yeah. So I, I deliberately don't put myself yeah, forward. I can, you know, I'm, I'm I, a last I, resort. I'm the, I'm, on, eh? I do a similar. I'm a similar at the karaoke, right? Because I've seen karaoke nights where the bloke or lady mm -hmm. com constantly pushes themselves. So they have a couple of. Then they sing a song. Couple yeah. of songs. Now that to me is completely wrong. You should completely be there to wrong. fill out the gaps. Yeah, I am only there to fill in the gaps. And thank God, when you've heard my voice, thank God oh, it no, is tell me. Tell me about it. You know, although now, the, the ballad you did last night wasn't too. I think about what the uh, angle about Humperdinck. Yeah, one. it wasn't Didn't too. Didn't you like bad. my save your kisses for me? Moving on. Oh, I thought that was the better one. Funny <laughs> enough. Um, you st How old were you when when you decided I want to do something with radio? Um. Well, I um. Oh. It had been 10, 11. Yeah. I had one of those uh, microphones that came out on an FM radio, a little toy microphone. <laughs> I don't know if you remember them. I had one. <laughs> I did I did it. I'll tell my story next week because yeah. we're, we're running for time now. Um, so uh, I someone attached remind a, me to do that. I touched a big wire to the aerial, chucked it out of my bedroom window exactly and transmitted what I did. the three, three, exactly three, what three I did. along. The thing is, those, those little FM, they were little plastic mm. things. Yeah. They were not very, they didn't go very far. But if you went up really high yeah. and put a bit of, and all it was was a bit of wire, yeah. you could actually get out quite far on these yeah. things. And I, I remember, I, I, I'll tell that story another day because mm. I haven't got time now. So, and that's how you that's start, what did started. you just talk, did you put it next to a... I'll put it next to a record player with a speaker, you know, I was putting records on. Um, that is exactly that, what I used to do. That happened for a little bit. So. And you had friends listening, did you ring them up? Yeah. So I'm just doing a show now. Do you want yeah. to listen? This is where it is. Yeah, um, I suppose it's similar <laughs> to what people do on the internet now, but very early. It's so much easier. Oh yeah. Look at us sitting here. Yeah. Doing a what? Well, this is called a live stream. Yeah. It's basically a cheap version of a television show. It is. Isn't it? Yeah. All in colour. Mm -hmm. You know, the the quality. Well, you've seen what people say. Ten yeah. out of ten for the mm -hmm. quality now. Anyway, so. Um, that's how you started. Yeah. And where did you? How did you carry on from that? Well, I, I did uh, work experience. That's the key thing with any radio work. Volunteer, get in, make the cups of tea. Did you do anything online? Uh, no, into, but I'm a bit too old for that. At that point. Oh, okay, we haven't got to that yet. Got to right, that, no. carry on, carry on. Um, so, so uh, from the little radio into the mic, you, yeah. you got into a radio station. I did, did yeah. How got, old are you now? Um, this would have been about 15. Right. Um, I, I made friends with an overnight presenter yes. at uh, one of the big stations in Manchester, yes. Key 103. Oh, is that... Um, 
Uh, do, do we know her name? Or uh, you, it's, it's not, a guy. I won't, I won't mention that. Okay. I'm not sure what he's doing now. Maybe um, Britain weren't supposed to do that. But um, were you were you in the station illegally? Was it, well, I don't know. So yeah. yeah, so I won't mention this person. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, so I did that for a bit. Then I um, then I got um, got to do some work for Light AM, which was an AM station. Um, again, this was sort of voluntary, hanging around, making cups of tea. Uh, and from there, that this is before automation, where computers played music oh, overnight. Yeah, yeah. So they always needed somebody to sit there that to bring the news in overnight. And um, but so it was yeah, great. So it was good for overnight, wasn't yeah. it? So I did that for a bit. M- moved around um, a few stations: Wire FM, Wish FM, all, all work experience. Oh yeah. Right? yeah. Well, well, I was getting paid for shifts. Oh, it right, wasn't, yeah, yeah. Uh, wasn't sort of on air. It was oh. more sort of. Driving the desk, technical stuff. Technical yeah. stuff. Uh, yeah. a bit, I did a bit of news reporting for Light as well. Right. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, then I uh, had a complete career change. Moved to Blackpool and became an actor. Right. In the horror place. Um, moved back. Um, what horror place? Uh, Pasaki del Toro. Uh, what, what is del that? So it's an interactive um, horror experience. You walk is around it like and people jump out. Oh, is it like the um, London Dungeon type thing? Yeah, there used to be there used to be a, a Pesachi del Toro in uh, oh, London right. in the Trocadero yeah. Centre, but right. it's closed now. Uh, so I did that, uh, moved back to Manchester, and um, the internet was sort of internet radio was starting, and uh, I was trawling around the internet. I found this thing uh, that was just about to launch called CMP, um, and there was there was some dodgy. Southern presenter ah, on there ah, called ah, Chris ah, something or ah, other. This is um, how we met. This yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, so I did that for a number of years, and that that was just a you know the the hobby style of it. Because at the end of the day, we do this because we enjoy it. It's yeah. a hobby. We'd do it yeah. if we weren't getting. Paid. I still do it because I enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. Um, my problem is I, I I'm used now to. I think it's a bit of a case you can't well you can teach an old dog new tricks I think but I'm I'm a bit in my ways now and, you are you know oh, well, look at how you've moved on from the start of your yeah but with the whole radio thing people say oh you should be on the radio and all that I couldn't be doing with the constrictions no and besides <laughs> you're not relevant I'm not relevant <laughs> I'm really really not I'm not relevant boys and girls I'm just totally and utterly irrelevant and that's why I think I might may have sent out two demos in my time well you see not had a reply and thought there's no point in sending these out and plus i knew some people in both talk sport and lbc good friends of mine i haven't seen them for a while now mm-hmm. and they told me chris do you do you love what you do and i'm like yes we'll carry on doing it if you come on if you try if you try and in the unlikely thing that you get on lbc or talk sport within a couple of weeks you will be really fed up with yeah. all the restrictions that you have, having to fit everything into a certain time, he said, you'll hate it. Yeah. And we hate it. We only do it because it's a job. And there's the difference. Yeah. I can sit here, people can come round, people can call in, and that's the beauty of it. Mm. So uh, so you did this little show on yeah. CMP Radio, which was the, yeah. f- the first one of, one of or the? Probably one of. Mm. Not sure. It was an know. online radio station. Yeah. There are now thousands and yeah. thousands of these. I don't think it was the first online station. It was the first station that allowed anyone to become a presenter on a station as a brand rather than just on the platform. Yeah. Um, it was very cleverly put together. Yes, actually. yes, it, was it, a, it worked really so good well. Concept, yeah. So well, he they found me because I was on live live three six five. Yes, sorry, live. 365. Actually, I did do a live three six five, but that was oh, um, that was it I was a, a shopping centre in um, uh, Manchester wanted an, in, uh, an in-store radio, mm-hmm. but they couldn't afford to pay someone to be there. So we set up a live three six five stream into there, oh, right, and right. it was just operated from my home. And in those days, it, it did it hold up? Um, it, it was early broadband, so it was two, oh, two meg. Yeah, it was a little bit. A little bit too iffy bad, now and again, yeah. you know, you get the internet go down. Yeah. So you did that, mm-hmm. and then where from? Where from the internet radio? Um, well, I um, there, there was a community station in Manchester setting up called uh, Gadio, and I'd, I'd been sort of out of radio for a little bit, and uh, I saw this advert in the local magazine. Um, saying they were recruiting volunteers, so um, I sent over my CV, got invited to a meeting. Um, and as, as with a lot of community stations, most people don't have vast experience, they just want to be a presenter, that's yes. their starting round. 
Um, so I actually, uh, you know, I got on air straight away with that, and it was quite, um, you know, it was quite good. But that, that was only an RSL, which is a restricted services license. That's so a only temporary ran, radio yeah. station. Yes. Uh, so it ran for, I think it was two weeks, the first one. It was yeah. a, a very late um, application. It did all right on there? It did all right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we did another RSL uh, a bit later on. Uh, but the same station? Same station, right. um, time to go with Manchester Pride. Yes. That was a massive success. Um, and they applied for a community license. Um, in this period, um, I got poached from there to Tameside Radio as a volunteer, uh, which had just won a community license. So uh, we moved the show over there. You were poached, dear. Well, sort of poached. 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 We, we actually, when we first started. Like an egg. We, yeah. <laughs> when we first started, the show was actually provided as a Gadio production for Tameside Radio. Right. You know, it was done, you know, properly like that. Um, then, of course. Uh, Things happened with Tameside Radio and went bigger and, and better and all that. Uh, and Gadio, of course, won their community license and uh, managed to um, acquire the old Gadar license yes. on DAB and uh, are now everywhere. Right. Um, so, you know, they've done very well. So you went into Tameside, now you're yeah. doing your own show. Yeah. At this point, what, when, when about our file back is this? A couple um, of few years? About five it, years? Well, it's seven years ago, I think. Is it really? Yeah. Good God. Uh, seven years ago, started there. Um, so that's how you got in, unpaid, yeah, unpaid, unpaid, all voluntary. Right. Um, I was doing that for well um, till last year, um, beginning of last year, mm -hmm. and, um, and then suddenly you very quickly moved up the ladder. How did that happen? Did a lot yeah. of people leave or what? No, it was. Um, or were you seen to be good at what you were doing? It, it, it was a, a sign mm. of the times. Everything was moving more digital, um, especially in newspaper. And you, you being know, a young person, what up on all this? You can do it. Well, can't I, you? I knew the basics of it, and mm. because of, before that, I'd worked in a bank for eight years, so I had a business background as well. Right. So it was because of that, I think, it had the the technical and the business mm. sense that brought me in. Uh, then we had a few restructurings in the business anyway, and because of that, uh, I managed to move up to but where do, I am. do you think you've become more um, business orientated than program? Yes. Yes. So I've, I, that, that as, will never as you, to me, as you said to me once before, you've turned into them you instead of us. You, you know you've turned yeah. into them, don't you? Yeah. Oh, God. And is that why I'm unlikely to ever <laughs> get a little show there, darling? Just because, <laughs> just because I once said, was it, all I said was, if you did your talk show, how relevant would the content be well, to the it, people has, of Tameside? Would, the, would this not have been a relevant programme for the people of Tameside? Well, this one might have been, been, yeah. There you go, Tim. Well, how, how often do you talk about things affecting people in Tameside? <laughs> well, we need a little station in Bracknell, but we'll go on yeah. the TV one. All right, so that's how it all started. And thank you very much for telling us about oh, that. No problem. Can we listen to you at all anymore, or um, is it like on and off? Uh, for, for myself, I'm, yeah. I'm normally around on the Thursday show. Um, the, the show I used to do was called Tameside Tonight. It was um, six till seven right. weekdays. Um, and on a Thursday, we did a, an entertainment one, which covered all yes. theatre reviews and things like that. And I still do the theatre reviews, so I'll come in for that. Um, next week, you'll be able to hear me on Thursday, actually. Okay. Uh, because John Merce is busy. Uh, and people could listen online show. wherever. They listen are. online, yeah. Inside Tameside Tame Radio. In uh, InsideTameside.com. And when? What time's that? Uh, I'm on six till seven. Six till seven on Thursday night. Thursday night. All right. Okay, Doug. Well, thank you for coming in and chatting oh, to us. Thank you for having me again. We'll finish off with a few um, little emails. Uh, Mike in Brighton says, uh, cheers for the great show. Your friend, it's uh, uh, James, is really on the ball. I never knew you could have Wi-Fi, even on an airplane word. It works. Yeah, mm. neither did I. I only found this out um, uh, the other day. My cat is Pharaoh. It's a chocolate pointer Siamese cat. Oh, very nice. But it's beautiful, Mike. Mike said I can go down to his hotel and oh. stay for a night free oh. of charge. That's so nice. Will I get the breakfast as well? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Daniel sends in a picture of the cat. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wendy says she used to live in Glossop. Loved it there. Oh. Yeah, it's nice, Glossop. See? See? Yeah. She lives in Glossop, or used to live in Glossop. And uh, Marge says... Uh, horns don't automatically mean devil. The horned god of Wicca that I practice is not a devil, it represents nature. Did you know that? Uh, I didn't know that, but I knew yeah, that... Um, 
Happy yeah. Ostara to anyone out there who celebrates the spring uh, solstice. Is that what is the spring solstice? It's not the day and the night of the same length. That's in June, isn't it? Uh, that's the equinox you're thinking of. What's the difference? Um, I'm not that's an expert bad. on that. Okay. Out, of my, out, out of my knowledge. Because you're running out of time, yes. aren't you? Um, thank you to there's another little picture of oh. of uh, Alfie and a beautiful cat little dinner thank you very much uh, uh, where are we now it must disappear actually because it's time I don't, I don't like to miss anything out you see oh Alfie did you see my image with the onesie yes, yes. we did we did but I got, yeah I showed it I showed it there I yeah. showed it there um, there's another place for messages as well that I never check and I really ought to so one second let's bring that up is that something there might be no we're all done we are we are well done that's it there we are all finished today boys and girls thank you very much um, there'll be a short video on Tuesday and Wednesday during the morning they're recorded uh, we'll do another live show on Wednesday night at 11 p.m. UK time okay so another live show on Wednesday night at 11 p.m. UK time you can find that by going to unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk and uh, just click on the union flag at the top there anytime sort of after uh, 10.30 and we'll be up and playing some music there thank you very much James thank you very much Chris email address chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk have a lovely Saturday and I shall see you for a short show on Tuesday thanks for watching and listening bye bye now Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.